for all the times I have been to Phoenix over the past 20 years, I've never been to the Superstition Mountains. The old Apache Land movie ranch, where parts of Gunfight at the OK Corral were filmed, had been there. The movie studio used to be about 10 miles east of here that burned down in 2004. Okay, and the only thing left after the movie studio burning down was the barn, the Elvis Chapel, and the gallows. So they moved everything to here. The people that owned the Apache Land wanted to get out of it because it wasn't productive anymore. Pima Indians lived in the valley and they weren't superstitious at all. The mountain was named by the soldiers who were stationed in the area because the Indians had so many superstitions about the deities who lived in the mountain. It was sacred to them, they wouldn't go back in. About a mile down the road was the Goldfield Ghost Town. I wanted to find out about the lost Dutchman mine. You're in trouble. <laughs> You're, you're in trouble. It was a German man, not Dutch, so Deutsch turned to Dutch over several years. And they said he was lost because he lived till he was about 91 years old, and it was the gold that was lost, not him. People told me I should take the train ride at the ghost town because it had some of the most beautiful views of the Superstition Mountain. Albert Mason, if you want to go to Phoenix, but two hours away by stagecoach. It was German. They called it the Dutchman, but he wasn't Dutch. Side of the superstitions, but no one that's bound go around Weaver Nate. The district covered this entire lower desert area here. It's the saguaro cactus. They are native to the Sonoran Desert. The oldest one on record is 350 years. They start growing arms around the age of 75. Uh, I had a great time because it was a beautiful day and it had been raining for the last couple days and this is a pretty cool place. It's beautiful views. To put it nicely, besides time with a woman, you have dinner, a drink, and a bath. And you can have it in whatever order you want. <laughs> when a gunman entered a saloon, not all the time, but sometimes he would remove the bullet from his weapon. For safety reasons, it was the law, or a barter system with the bartender. He would trade the bartender a bullet for a drink. And this is how much whiskey you were poured. If you had a bullet from a forty-five pistol, or one from a forty-five seventy rifle, Right, rifle. So there's your shot glass or your shot of whiskey.